Hi, Murph. Oh, hi, Dan. Sardine Factory. Dave Barber. Said so this is Evelyn. No. Sorry, you just missed him. What do you mean? He's gone. He's not here. Well, I think you better look again. Believe me, you just missed him. Now, if you're interested in someone a little more suave and sophisticated, I'll be happy to. That's what I get for being a dirty old man. There's a message for you, Madge. Uh, somebody from San Francisco? Brenner? Yeah, that's it. Uh, Monty gave her this number. Receive pictures and biography. Please send a tour or tape of your show as soon as possible. Thanks, Murph. Oh, don't mention. I can't tell you how thrilling I am to be your social secretary. You will put that on my tab, huh? I was calling you from that phone booth over there, and he was telling me you'd left, and I was staring right at your car. Isn't that funny? <laughs> yeah, kind of funny. Why didn't you take my call? What does it say that I got to drop what I'm doing and answer the phone every time it rings? Do you know your nostrils flare out into little wings when you're mad? That's kind of cute. Come on, Evelyn, I got to go. I'd love a Coke. Not tonight. I got to get to the station. No, you don't. Hey, you're talking to your number one fan. You don't work tonight. I got this show that I'm trying to set, and it happens to be a very important show to me. That means I got to pick the music, I got to write the lead-ins, and I got to find some poetry. Now, come on, will you? Poetry? Let me help you. I'm terrific with poetry. I know all Not kinds tonight. by heart. Not tonight. Does he want his keys? Come on, Evelyn. Speak. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Let's hear it. Come on. Come on. Give me my keys. Come on. Give me the keys. Come on. <laughs> give me the keys. God damn it. Having some trouble, lady? Get lost. Yeah, get lost, assholes. Yeah, let's split. He's got enough trouble already. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> Bye. See you later. <laughs> <laughs>